Hey there! In this video, we are going to learn how to crop more efficiently in Lightroom. Um, people are always asking us how we so speedily edit things in Lightroom, and this is one of the ways. Um, Lightroom keyboard commands are our friend. So if you have not checked out our Lightroom keyboard commands that we can't live without, please check out that freebie because that is going to help you a lot. Keyboard commands are your friend. So. If you don't know already, the keyboard command for crop in Lightroom is R. So if you just hit the R key, you will automatically be taken into the crop module. So then you can do whatever you want. You can straighten, you can, um, you know, crop in on your photo a little bit. And one tip for straightening is that you want to straighten with the horizon most of the time. Now it's hard when there isn't water. So if you can see it right here, I am lining up with the, the shoreline across on there and right toward the middle of the photo. I'm pointing at it, but you totally can't see me. Um, so it's right along here that I am trying to line up my horizon with. So I'm taking this and just doing that and that's great. That works pretty well for this photo and um, that is pretty straight. So if you don't have water or something like that, beach photos are very easy to um, straighten. But if you don't have that, then try to pick something that is straight in the background. Um, so you might want to use the dock for this. You can also do that. Um, even editing pros make mistakes sometimes, but you can choose whatever looks the best for you. And sometimes you're just going to have to eyeball it. That is just the truth of the matter. Um, so whatever looks the straightest too. But I also may use these poles here. There's like a nice little line here and here. And I might try to see if that um, helps me to straighten it out at all either. Um, so it depends on the, um, the angle of the lens and um, the angle that the photographer was standing at. So um, unless they were shooting straight on, you're not always going to be able to get a perfect straighten with the horizon. So, um, so that's a quick tip for straightening is to use something, um, in the photo to help you straighten. Now, a lot of times if there is a straight, like a vertical line in the middle of the photo in the background, I will use that unless it's a tree because trees aren't always reliable considering they are organic things. So you can't always trust a tree to give you a straight line, but a lot of times it might actually work. So you can try to do that as well. Um, that is my go-to for like, say there's um, like a staircase in the background or something. I'll line it up with the rungs of the staircase um, that are in the middle of the photo, not on the edge of the photo. So just remember that in the middle of the photo. Um, so that is straightening. And one thing that we love about Lightroom Classic, like Creative Cloud, the one that you subscribe to every month, is that when you are toggling between say like the reference panel so let's say that i'm using a reference photo which i do this very very often especially editing for my clients um, you can set a reference photo over here to make sure that your editing matches so um, if i want to match this photo with this one over here um, skin tones things like that then i <clears throat> will want to be able to toggle to see, um, to be able to crop. So um, you hit the R button. Now in the old Lightroom version, if you would do that, it would come up with this little, let me go back here. It would come up and ask you like exiting out the reference panel will, you know, just get rid of it. So do you really want to proceed? And you seriously have to click OK, and then you ha can go into the crop panel. So <laughs> I always found this like an extra step really, really irritating in the old Lightroom. Even hitting enter was really annoying to me because it really did shave off seconds of my day um, at a time. And I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but it does add up when you are trying to edit thousands of photos in a day. So um, I really just like that you can go, you can hit shift plus R to get back to the reference panel in case you didn't know. So I'm hitting shift plus R to get to this pane and R to get to the crop panel. So I can just toggle back and forth between those two things easily by hitting shift plus R or just R to get back to the crop panel. So 
Yeah, so it's really, really nice to be able to shift between those two things as I'm going through. And another way that you can crop really, really efficiently is if you are in the reference panel and you want to hit R and go to the crop panel, which is what I just did. But then you don't want to um, you don't want to hit enter every time you crop a photo. So you can actually stay in the crop panel and toggle back and forth between photos by hitting command and using the left and right arrows. So I'm going to hit command right to stay in the crop panel and go to the next photo. I see how cool that is. So now I can just go through and um, I can still edit while I am in the crop panel. Um, you can still, you know, increase exposure, decrease in exposure while you're in the crop panel, but all I have to do is commit, hit command arrow. Um, to go to the next photo. So that is something pretty sweet that will also improve your workflow and your speed as well. So find out what works best for you there. Um, I honestly switch it up a little bit every now and then depending on my mood. But um, yeah, I hope that's really helpful for you to um, speed up your workflow a little bit. See you later, guys.